Hi, it's me again, and I'm here to talk a little bit more about this uh, school web page and how you can customize it for yourself and produce something like this for your own school. And the question that I've been asked is, how can we make our own icons rather than have to keep asking you to do it for us? Uh, now, I've so far created a, a whole heap of icons and made them available, 102 or something it says there. I think it's up, up to 103 now. Um, and it's fairly easy for me to create them, but people are now saying, we'd like to create these ourselves. We like the way they look and we'd like to keep something consistent and be able to make them on the fly. How can we go about doing it? So I thought what I'd do is try and package it to something that is achievable and uh, easy to reproduce or easy-ish to reproduce for people that know a little bit about what they're doing with the computer. So let's get into it and I'll show you what the actual process is. The whole thing is based around PowerPoint. So what I've got here is a homepage icons template.pptx and it's a file that I'm going to make available and share on uh, my, my OneDrive uh, and you'll be able to download your own copy of it and be able to uh, start editing it. So in terms of editing it, what you're going to see is a whole lot of um, boxes that have already been filled in and there's one slide only. Uh, my original version of this has about four or five different slides um, that contain a whole heap of different icons but you only need one slide to get started with. It's really important that you do not change the size of any of these boxes just use the boxes as they are uh, and there's already a whole bunch of icons in there that uh, are ready for you to reuse, change, edit etc. Uh, to make the way you want them to be. Now one complexity of this is this font that I have used for these labels. It's a font that's not standard on Microsoft Windows or on Apple and it's a Google font and it's called Roboto. Uh, there's a whole family of Roboto fonts which are really nice, they're really easy and clear and readable and you can get them for free if I go to Google and if you type in Roboto font and do a search you'll find it's the first one on here it's at google.com and it's a free font and it's called Roboto and it looks like this so it's really important that you download this entire family at the top right here to download the family and the one that we use is called uh, Roboto condensed or Roboto CN so get that font install it on your computer and it will appear in your PowerPoint list. If you don't have that font installed and you try and open this document it's going to substitute that font for something else and it won't look like the rest of the icons that you have in your um, Google web page that you've created your Google site. So step one is get that font, install that font on your computer. Second step is get this template and start working with the template. So what do you do with the template? Okay, it's already a full page um, that's got stuff, it's already full. We need an empty one to start with. So what we do is we click over here to select this slide, Control C to copy on your keyboard, click down below it and go Control V and now you've got two pages of exactly the same thing. Now what you want to do is simply delete all of those icons that are, well the graphics, that are on that slide because what you'll then end up with is empty boxes that you can put your new icons into. Oops. Don't delete the text boxes because the text boxes are really important because they are in the right position all you need to do is edit those text, box, text boxes. The other thing that you can do is depending on the color of the background that you've chosen so here's the color here you can go to shape fill and you can change the color to something different very easily uh, and if that text is not good for that background then you can always change the color of the text as well. So you get the idea of how to change the background and how to change the um, color of the text and what the words are in the text you can change as well. I've used all uppercase that's just the standard that I've gone for you can make it say whatever you want to really but for consistency I would say leave it as uh, uppercase text. Okay so the next step is where do I get the picture that goes to be the link that I want to have on my web page. 
All right, let's go find something. So if we go back to Google where we had um, the Roboto font, and say, for example, um, we want to do one for Cool Math Games. That's a really popular website with students, not because it's educational or anything, because it's a, a fun site. Um, and a lot of schools like to make Cool Math Games available to them. If you go to Google and you type in Cool Math Games, you'll get um, the normal link to the website. But if you go to Images here, I'll just move out of the way again. You'll usually find some images that are related to that website. And this one here is pretty, this, this is not a good one because it's wide. You want one that looks fairly square or something that is, uh, is going to fit within the bounds of the box that you're going to use. So here's the picture over here. So you click on it once, you get it into this box on the right hand side, you right click on it and you go copy image. And then when you do that, go back to PowerPoint go into your PowerPoint, just click anywhere outside. There's your graphic, resize it, pick a box you want to put it into, it doesn't really matter where you want it to go. So say for example I want it on this one here, um, doesn't matter. Then another good, thing, good idea is, okay, let's make this whole background the same color as this. So let's click on that outside edge to select that shape that we've got go to the shape fill, go to the eyedropper, select that color, and now all of that is the same color. And then in the text over here, we want to say, get rid of all of that text, cool math games, and whoops, I went to the wrong page, and then spell cool properly, and then, I don't think I did that right, no, there's an extra space there, having a great time today with this. And then we want to change that color to white because it's a better color for it. And there is my logo or my icon that I want to have for the web page. Okay, so then what do we do uh, now that we've got that on a page? Because you can go and add a whole heap of them on there. Well, then the next thing you do is point your mouse somewhere in this white space to the edge of it. Draw a box all around it like that and that selects all of the items within that then you right click on here save as picture and tell it where you want it to go so I'm putting it into a folder that I've got called icons which is where all of my icons are and it's automatically a PNG file that's what it's going to export it as and we just call it cool math games no spaces don't put any spaces in the name it's really important because it's going to go into a website and then you save and now what, what's happened, if I go to my icons folder, I will find that there is a new icon on here called Cool Math Games. And the really good thing about it is if I go to properties and details, it's 256 by 256 pixels, a nice size for a, an icon. And if I click on this other one that I made earlier this morning, and I go to properties, and I go to details, exactly the same. So they're all when you export them, they'll all come out at the exactly that same size, and that graphic is now ready to be added to your Google site that you've made. So um, that's pretty much it. You, when you've filled up all of this with all of your extra icons, you can just go and create a new page, delete all the others, and so on. So get that font, get this uh, template, and you should be able to go ahead and create your own icons. Hope that was of use.